Our Max Darrow spoke to one Bay Area resident who says she's had to put her life on hold while much of the country tries to put the pandemic behind them. This is where Beth Kenny finds herself several times a week, the place where she can check out and get out. And it just feels very peaceful. Especially important during a turbulent few years. Yeah, we're limited to outdoor places, so I'm very thankful for the beautiful parks here in Alameda. Kenny is immunocompromised at high risk for severe COVID. She's concerned about the initial infection and long COVID. While most people have resumed life as it were pre-pandemic, she hasn't. She still gets her groceries delivered and doesn't go most places. With COVID and other respiratory infections on the rise, but few mask requirements in public places, Kenny feels left behind. I want masks to come back so that our health is protected and we do it in a way that is equitable to all. She'd like to see mask mandates come back in schools, public buildings, basically all shared indoor spaces. It would drastically change my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> Rhea Small joined Kenny for a walk in the park. She recently spearheaded a rally in Oakland urging the mayor and council to reinstate a mask requirement in indoor public buildings. It's really frustrating to me that to our leaders, these people's lives and struggles are less important than someone who just doesn't like the feeling of a mask on their face or doesn't want to be reminded that the pandemic is still going on. Across the Bay Area, there are some individual businesses, organizations, institutions and municipalities bringing back masking requirements in certain settings. San Jose State will require them indoors starting on the 19th. Alameda County is bringing them back to jail, shelters, warming centers, and long-term care facilities. COVID is up by all metrics. Dr. Peter Chin Hong is an infectious disease expert at UCSF. The general setting, I, I'm very enthusiastic about people wearing these masks uh, right now because although we focus on COVID, there's so many other things going around. But his enthusiasm for masking stops short of mask mandates in most public indoor spaces, aside from places like hospitals and other environments filled with vulnerable people. I don't think uh, we need a mandate, mainly because uh, there's so many things we can do. Even if someone becomes positive and they're high risk, I can give them Paxlovid or Remdesivir to keep them from going to the hospital. I am fortunate that I can work from home a lot of people in my situation are not. Despite her hope, yeah. Kenny they doesn't have, have much faith now. the masking situation in most shared indoor public spaces will change anytime soon. I am scared at how bad it might have to get before we before that changes. She'll continue her walks in the park, even though for her, the new normal will never be normal. Right now, 90% of the nation is seeing a COVID surge. The CDC says cases are up nearly 50% in just one week alone. COVID deaths are also up nearly 62%. We preserved the tests so we could have them on hand for exactly this moment. The good news is this virus does not have the same impact on our lives that it did two years ago or even what it did last year. The CDC says about 15% of adults have gotten the current bivalent booster. And new data shows just how effective those boosters are at preventing death and serious illness. A report from the CDC shows the updated booster reduces risk of hospitalization by 50% or more.